Hey, uh, this is the this is the troll level guide. This is gonna tell you how to beat troll level. Just all the memory stuff. Just get that all out of the way. Uh, I'm just gonna watch this video in half speed. This is my completion. So um, it starts off with this little jump. You're just gonna jump right in between those two blocks there, and. You're gonna wait till this edge of the block and jump because that jump, that block right above me, right there, that's real block. So that will kill you if you jump too early. This pad is totally fake. This orb is fake. This portal's fake. Lots of this stuff is fake. Just wait until this jump and hold so you don't hit that pink orb because that pink orb is real. Uh, then you're gonna wait until you jump off both these blocks and jump in between these two and hold off that as well. Keep holding, just jump off that instantly. It's that one too. Wait until you hit this second block, jump up there. Jump right away. Until you fall down there. And wait until you get to the edge of the block again. And jump and avoid that block. Now this part, I learned on my own. You just, when you see this ship portal, just keep holding. You keep holding the button down this whole time. Until you make it to this big portal down there. That is your indication. That is your indicator to stop holding. So once you hit that, wait until you hit this block and jump down. Just jump through here, down here. Uh, keep in mind for this whole first segment, there's no orbs. You don't hit any orbs and hit no portals or pads for this first little bit. So just keep that in mind. Fall down. There's an invisible block down there, and just jump off these two. Jump up there, jump up, and make sure to hold off this click, because that pink orb down there is real. This one right here, this one's real, so watch out for that. Jump off here, you can hold off here, you don't have to. Uh, you do have to hold off here though, to avoid these pink orbs. And same here to avoid the blue orb. And now is where you actually will start having to hit orbs. So you're going to have to hit this pink orb late, and you're going to have to light tap it, because if you hold it too long, there's no J blocks, so you'll totally just jump off the block and die. So light tap it so you don't die. Jump off that block, jump off this block with the jump pad on the bottom end. This click is really particular, or not this one, but just hit, jump and hit that green orb. This black orb, you just have to jump and hit the black orb so that you hit the very edge of this block, the very front edge, because you're gonna keep holding off that click. And you see, I clicked, I clicked pretty early there, and I just barely landed on the edge of this block here. So watch out for that. Jump and hit the dash orb, and you can just buffer this black orb if you hit the dash orb right. And once you buffer the black orb, you can down, jump, click off here. You can click and hold off the blue orb to hit all these pads and stuff. You will probably avoid this. Hit the dash orb to slide down there. And you're gonna hit this blue orb right in the center because you have to avoid... You have to go right in between these two blocks here. That will... You have to go in between there. So you have to hit it right in the middle. Just like that. Hit the pink orb late to hit the portal. Jump, light click this blue orb again, so you don't jump off it. Jump and click. That is a fake block, obviously, so just click the green orb. It's not a timing at all. Just buffer click. Uh, you can hold off of it, though, and hit this blue orb, or, sorry, the yellow orb, and wait until you hit the bottom blue pad, then hit it, and hold off that click until you make it to this top part. Wait till you fall one block. Hit the yellow orb and hold, and you can jump off there. Then you're going to jump off this second block, really late tap this dash orb, and click it right in the middle. If you click it too early, you will hit the, you will hit this corner of the block and die, and if you hit it too late, you'll hit this block and die, so very particular click, but just hit it late. You can... And then, what you're going to want to do 
is when you hold off this click, this dash orb click, you're gonna instantly buffer click this green orb as fast as you can because you need to, you really need to get the height to make it to this block. And if you're even just a little bit late, you won't have enough height to make it on top and you'll run right into it. So you're gonna need to buffer this green orb. And once you hold it here, it's pretty easy from here on. That that green orb is pretty much the last difficult click of the pre-drop. Just click, hit that. Uh, some people jump and hit this blue pad. There's really no reason to. You can just fall and hit the yellow orb. There's nothing stopping you. And then just hold off these blocks. Just don't hit the blue fake. Then you get to the drop. This drop is not that hard. This first segment of the drop is very easy. Just jump click. And then hit this a bit late to avoid this block, because that's real. And then this part, I mostly, you have to jump here, hit the blue orb, jump here, and hit the black orb. I mostly just remembered it by the click pattern, the da 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 And then you, one, two, you have to go one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four down there. And then click into the UFO and jump right away. You don't need to hit the black orb or do any extra jumps when you hit the when you get into the UFO. Just wait until you land on this green orb block. And hit that. Then just click right before that black orb. I never had an issue with hitting that black orb, but just click and avoid the black orb. Hit the blue jump orb, obviously. And then hit both of these to f jump off them both. Then one, two, three, four, five. And then you click up there and down. And you hit the blue orb. Then you hold off that and just hit the green orb by really timing. Hit that dash orb to fall down, jump, and click instantly at the ball on there, and fall down here. There's going to be one off-screen block, that's not what you click off. If you wait one more block, then you click, and you go one, two, one, two, three, in those blue, or the blue orb section, to land on this top block. Click down, spider click, black orb click, jump, dash orb, and hold into this ship section, so you can clear in between there. This part is a bit weird. It's one, two, one, one, two, one. And one problem that I had with this dash orb was I would hold it too long and hit the dash orb really late. So you're actually gonna kinda wanna micro click this because if you hold it too long, then you're gonna mess up your click. So micro click this dash orb. That's what helped me get consistent at it. Uh, blue orb off this. Uh, hit this blue orb kind of late and just buffer click this green orb. You can buffer this too, or not buffer, but you can time it pretty easily. Now, you see this area here. This this is where you want to go. You can already see it up here. Up there. And then jump. One, two, three. Click up above here, but don't hit the blue orb. Wait for that dash orb and click those both, jump out of the UFO, jump there, wait until this blue orb down here, that's what you're going to be wanting to hit. One, two, hold off this click, and then click right out of the hold to be able to jump as the cube, and then hit the blue orb, hold off that, hit the black orb, and wait for the wave to be able to make it in between these two blocks. That's what you're going to be aiming for, and it'll just set you up nicely for the robot. And one thing I sometimes would die to is I would occasionally hit the blue orb before I hit the robot, and that would send my robot up and down, which is not what you want. So wait until you're in the robot to hit the blue orb, and just click right away, right on that first block into this block with the, with the ball portal. 
you're going to want to click once in there to flip your gravity, and then click down to the cube and jump instantly. Hit the dash room to go up, jump late, quite late off that block, to avoid hitting this block here, and then double click with the spider, one, two, and hold off the robot, click that green orb, wait until you hit this block, and jump off of it to hit the dash orb, and hold off of it to avoid the blue orb, or the blue pad. The blue pad is going to switch your gravity, but you're just going to wait until you hit to the dash orbs, and then you're going to let go. One, two, one, two, three again in there. Um, there's lots of different ways to do this part. This is how I did it. You click the green orb, hold the dash orb until you fall down there, click out of that block, and dash orb, or don't dash orb actually. Click out of that block and wait until you hit the teleport portal, which is going to put you back there. Jump and hold the black orb. It says hold right there, yeah. You're going to hold off of it until you make it up there, and you're just going to fall into the ship portal. You're just going to go in between those blocks. Hold up here. There's. I thought this part was going to be super confusing because of all the trigger orbs. I'm like, oh man, which trigger do I need to hit? It does not matter. Do not hit any of the orbs, though. Just... just don't care about the trigger orbs, just pretend they're not there. And then click once to make them there, and one more time to just straighten yourself out to put you into the robot portal. Again, there's lots of different ways to do this part as well. This is how I did it. You jump up there, and fall down to the spike down here. And you can just jump up here. You don't need to clear this block. See, in, the, in my completion, I didn't. It's more consistent if you don't hit the block, but it's fine if you do. Don't don't freak out. You can just hit the blue orb, same as normal, and click off that into the mini. You're going to do one, two, and you're going to go into the block. And usually I just pretend that these are all, these are all real blocks, just the top blocks though. So pretend you're on the underneath side of it. And click off there. I barely, I almost died there. Click off the bottom of this block, or actually, okay, wait, <laughs> sorry, don't click off the bottom of that block. Double click there, click once there, up there, and wait until you get to these two spikes. That's where you're going to want to jump. So you jump off there, do one little jump here, until you fall down to the portal there. Jump off the portal into here. And just wait until you do the final, last little click into the blue pad. Don't hit the blue, don't hit the dash orb, doesn't matter. Just let the blue pad do the job. And there you go. That's how you beat Troll Level by Arakushi14. Thank you for watching my wonderful, wonderful guide. And uh, yeah, see you later.